Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rahim Mehta bringing you another video today on saturation and vibrance. I realized that a lot of people don't know the difference between the two and it does get confusing, right? I mean, they're found on the same adjustment layer in Photoshop. In Lightroom also, they're kind of right next to each other. So how do they actually differ? Well, for starters, we need to define what is it that they do. They both control the intensity of colors for how strong or weak colors are going to be. Vibrance does it in a rather relative manner. What I mean by that is it solely focuses on parts of the image that are rather lacking in color rather than the overall image, whereas saturation kind of intensifies the color of the overall image. Let me demonstrate this with an example. The value of both these parameters have been kept exactly the same. However, as you can see on top, vibrance has only affected parts of the image that was lacking in color. So it mostly boosted colors in the greens and the shaded part of her skin. And if you look at the image down below, you can see that the colors have been boosted overall. And that's why the sun flare kind of looks off, her skin tones look off, and it just does not give a very pleasing look to the eye. As a rule of thumb, I always tell people that if you're gonna have skin tones or people in your photos, try to use the vibrant slider instead of the saturation, as it usually messes up with the skin tones and the skin tones are a dead giveaway of a badly edited shot. Whereas you can use saturation in rather local adjustments using the adjustment brush or masks in Photoshop. But yeah, if you want to do an overall adjustment, I would suggest you to use the vibrance. And that's about it. That was a quick and short tutorial. Let me know in the comment section below what did you guys think of this video. Please subscribe to my channel, drop me a like as well, and I shall see you guys next time. Take care.